Welcome, Namaste, and welcome to Dr. Shah's Clinic. In this video, we are going to discuss on uh, the normal report of a semen analysis or a semen analysis normal report. So, an individual is said to suffer from subfertility or, or infertility if the individual is unable to father a child in the first year of marriage. Now, up to 40% or even up to 50% of the time, uh, the problem lies solely in the male partner versus the female partner. Common causes of male factor subfertility or male infertility usually include uh, defects in the sperm production, more specifically with the sperm count and sperm motility, and in some cases also the shape of the sperm. So, doing a semen test or doing a sperm test, you know, specifically helps us, you know, identify and address problems in the uh, sperm production pathways. Now, how should a normal semen analysis report technically look like? Now, say if you have gone to the semen analysis lab, you've gone to the androgy laboratory and you've taken a semen analysis, your semen analysis should have the following parameters. Number one, the semen volume should range from anywhere between 1.3 ml to 1.7 ml. The median average value is about 1.4 uh, you know, to 1.5 ml. In, nevertheless, if your values are more than 1 ml, we consider that the semen volume is normal. Point number two, the sperm count. Now, the sperm count should range from anywhere from about 13 million per ml up to 16 million per ml. The median average value is about 15 million per ml for all practical purposes. If the sperm count is more than 13 million per ml, it's considered normal. Point number three is the sperm progressive motility. Now, a progressively motile sperm is that sperm which actually moves from one field to the other field. Another field. You can look at the image on the right. A progressively motile sperm is scored as progressively motile if it moves under the microscopic field as shown in the image from one particular point A to one particular point B. Now, you, want, you need at least 32% of progressively motile sperms in your semen sample. So if you have 30, any, any value from about 31% up to 36% or even 35% is considered okay. For all practical purposes, the cutoff value is about 32%. Now, what about sperm total motility? Sperm total motility in a semen analysis report is basically the sum of both progressively motile sperm as well as non-progressively motile sperm. Now, what is a non-progressively motile sperm? Again, look at the image on the right. If a sperm moves and if it's moving only on one particular uh, spot, you know, in circles or it's vibrating in the same spot, that sperm is said to be non-progressively motile. We have already seen what's a progressively motile sperm. So the sum of both these values should be more than 40%. For all practical purposes, any value that's any, if the total motility that is seen in the semen sample with respect to sperm as well, if it is more than 40%, that's a semen analysis. That, that report is considered normal in terms of motility. The last and most important, uh, the last and probably, you know, the an important uh, semen, sperm parameter that we look at in a normal semen analysis report is the sperm morphology. So that's point number three. So the percentage of normal appearing sperms seen in the ejaculate should be 3%. Now, what is a normal appearing sperm? A normal appearing sperm will have, you know, an oval head with the acrosomal cap that covers, you know, about 40 to 70 percent of the head, a midpiece whose length is more or less equal to the length of the head, along and a tail whose length is about 45, above whose, you know, well, yes, the tail, the whole, which whose length is about 10 times that of the head. So I've uh, put up an image on the right, and that's what a normal appearing sperm, you know, technically looks like. So you need three percent of these uh, sperm to zoa to be seen in your semen analysis report, so that. Only then, you know, the chances of, you know, fathering a child in the first year of marriage is quite. So for individuals who have, you know, these particular values, so let's summate them. I've summated the values on the table on the right hand side, if you look at the table. The, this is how a typical semen analysis, you know, normal report should look like. So you have a semen volume that's anywhere that's greater than 1 ml, count more than, count that's 15 or more than 15 million per ml, motility, progressive motility more than 32%, total motility more than 40%, normal forms more than 3%. So this, this, this is a global overview of how a same analysis normal report look like, looks like. And for individuals who have values, you know, who are, which are in this range or above the range, the chance of a pregnancy in the first year of marriage is usually quite high. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Please, please share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah signing off for now and I'll see you back soon with another video. Bye.